You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. I fully intend to, my lord. If there are deficiencies you see, or suggestions you have about my operations and missions, I want you to speak up. I will make such things clearly known. You can count on me. Permission to speak freely, my lord. You may always speak freely, Quinn. I'll keep that in mind. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. Then you are to be commended. That's not how the Moff saw it. Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. I have no tolerance for fools like this Moff. I could say more about him, my lord, but my point is made. I serve you now, I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. My lord, I have been working on something in my spare time. You may be interested. Go ahead, regale me. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Volerin, when Moff Broisk recalled me to the Battle of Druckenwell. I had the spy cornered. I briefed Broisk so that he could send someone else to take Volerin out. He ignored the opportunity. This sounds like a personal vendetta. I'll admit, knowing how close I was to ending his career made languishing on Balmora all the more frustrating. But I take this on only for the good of the Empire. This spy has caused immeasurable losses. I know Volerin's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. Follow your little Imperial pursuits as you see fit. I'll keep you abreast of my progress. My lord, my efforts to locate SIS agent Volerin have finally paid off. There is a small window of opportunity to confront him. I can handle the matter personally. Permission to intercept and bring him down. I'm sure you're pleased to begin your campaign to pay back Moff Broisk. My lord, this isn't personal. I seek the good of the Empire only. You'll see. Vengeance is sweet, Quinn. Such motives suit you. Duty is all I need. The Empire will finally be served. I'll return shortly. My lord, I'm back from my mission. I'm pleased to report. Agent Volerin's decade of espionage has been brought to an end. It is a great day for the Empire. Just another Republic spy. I'm sure there will be others. No doubt. But none that have caused the Empire such difficulty. Thank you for allowing me to pursue this, my lord. I value your constant professionalism and expertise, Quinn. Thank you, my lord. Is there anything you require at this time? My enemy is defeated. We're working on that, my lord. My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Exactly how is she disturbing you? She's not wired for military precision. And there's no filter on that Twi'lek mouth. When I was tracking down Agent Volderon, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. 
Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. That never ceases to amuse me. I hope you won't encourage her, my lord. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her, the details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. Leave it to me. She'll stop bothering you. I was hoping you'd say that, my lord. Thank you. My lord, I seek advice. As a military man, above all else, I value discipline, the chain of command, and uncompromising dedication to serving the Empire's interests. But there's a built-in dilemma. When my instincts tell me that a superior is jeopardizing the Empire, it makes my path less clear. Do you have a problem with my leadership, Quinn? No, my lord, you mistake me. My concern is about the legacy of my former commander. I stood by as Moff Broisk's random whims compromised countless missions. It is a mistake I refuse to repeat. Defying him ruined my career, but I should have done it sooner. No matter the consequences. If anyone caused me half as much trouble, I'd dedicate my life to bringing him down. I have no aspirations for personal glory, just glory for the Empire. And now for you. I know what I know, Quinn, and I encourage you to seek revenge. I'm not sure how to respond, my lord. I will ruminate on it. You've given me much to ponder. My lord, I'm receiving reports of a failed military incursion. It seems one of our special ops battalions was following shaky intel and warped into an ambush. We're the only ship in the sector that can relay their distress calls to high command. Permission to transmit their coordinates for extraction. Wear yourself out. Yes, my lord. Hopefully the consequences of this blunder can be lessened. My lord, I've been tracking a series of broken Imperial signals on an encrypted channel. Tremendous interference. I've identified the source, Major Ovech, commander of Moff Broisk's elite infiltrator unit. But that's all. Strange, that name continues to pop up. Yes, Moff Broisk oversees a large proportion of Imperial forces. I served with Major Ovech under Moff Broisk. The man is an unmatched officer. Moff Broisk's command ship does not respond when hailed. My gut says there's trouble. Permission to investigate further. Your compulsiveness is exhausting, Captain. Since you're so wound up, pursue this as you see fit. Sorry, my lord. And thank you. My lord, I was able to clear the channel and get to the bottom of Major Ovich's relays. He's in a state of emergency. Patching him through now. My lord, your captain there is one in a million. I've given up hope anyone out there would hear my distress calls. He's proven himself invaluable to me on many occasions. Wish I still had him in my detail. Probably would have avoided this. Morf Broyce dispatched me and my officers to a secret weapons warehouse on Kate and Amoidia. Trouble is... It ain't a secret no more. We're holed up, surrounded by Republic forces. I'm trying to get Broisk to send the rest of my unit, but he's gone radio silent. It's worse than that, my lord. The Major's ship has been commandeered by Broisk's personal commandos and ordered to stay put. That tears it. Seen it a hundred times with Broisk. Better the cut bait and let good soldiers die than admit a mistake. Sounds more like Broisk wants you dead, Major. Any idea why? Same reason he demoted and exiled your captain, I'm guessing. I'm his only officer who's not shy about my opinion. Enemy was pausing between breaths, gearing up to charge again. Looks like the end of the line for me, but I'm not going out without a fight. Ovech, out. My lord, Major Ovech would be a terrible loss. I served on his ship, know it like the back of my hand. 
I can infiltrate and try to restore command to his men. Then they would be free to join the fight. Why are you still standing here? Go! Yes, my lord. My lord, returning from action. Pleased to report, Major Ovech and most of his officers have been saved. I was able to infiltrate Ovech's starship and seize control of the operating systems. I identified where his men were being held, freed them, and locked Moff Broisk's occupying force on the bridge. Ovech's men promptly rescued him. Amazing job, Quinn. I'm thankful you're on our side. You're too kind, my lord. The Empire is stronger with Major Ovech. It would have been a shame if he was squandered. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll return to my duties. My lord, I am applying to receive the trials for the rank of captain, second grade. I formally submit a request for your recommendation. It would be an honor. I will sing your praises, captain. You honor me, my lord. <laughs>